Hello, today we're going to talk about solving systems of linear equations using substitution. Alright, when you're solving a system, you're looking for one point that answers both equations. Alright, so there's different methods. There's graphing, there's substitution, and elimination, there's addition too, which I think the same thing as elimination, but whatever. Um, so this is substitution. Substitution is exactly what you think it is. You're going to substitute something in one equation into the other equation. I'm going to show you three different ways that this will show up. So what you're going to substitute is variables. All right. You only have two variables here. You have an X and a Y. All right. This is the most easy. This is the easiest one to do. Not the most easiest. The easiest one to do. All right. So, I want to substitute, well, a big thing here is you have to have them look the same, all right? So, I have y equals x plus 1, y equals x plus 1. Now, all right, now we're going to solve this one, all right? So, substitution. I'm going to substitute my y here. So, it doesn't matter which way I go. Um, I can substitute this one up to here, or I can substitute this one here. All right, all I'm doing is replacing. So I want to replace this y with what this y equals down here. So what does this y equal? Well, this y equals negative x plus three. All right, so this is my equation. So y equals this. So all I'm doing is taking this and replacing it with that y. All right, and then I rewrite it. And now I solve just like I always have. So x plus x is 2x. Subtract 1, subtract 1, 2 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So x equals 1. All right, so that's my first answer. All right, first step is substituting it in. Alright, my second step is find other variable or other part of the point, whatever you want to call it. In this case, you're finding the x. So I know, or I'm finding the y. So I know my x is equal to 1, but I need to know what my y is equal to now. All right, because my y can't be equal to a binomial when I get my final point. Because remember, when we solve the systems, you need an ordered point that has an x and a y point. So I have the x point, now I need the y point. Now to find that, we're going to do what we've done before. We're going to take this and just substitute it back in for the equations. I'm going to do both equations just to show you that it works. So this is how I find what my y equals. So I know my x equals 1, so I just substitute 1 in. y equals 2. All right? I'm going to do it over here, even though I don't have to. But this is a good way of checking for me. I, like everybody, am human, and I make errors. So now I know y equals 2. So my final point is x is 1, and my y is 2. And that is how that's the most basic way to use substitution. All right, example two. This looks a little bit different because last time we had two uh, equations in slope-intercept form. This is the same thing, but last time we solved for the y. This time we're going to solve for the x. It doesn't matter which variable you solve for. I personally like solving for the y every time. I just have a way I do it, but. I'm so used to doing that, that it works for me. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is substitute. So I need to find what X equals in one of these equations. Thankfully, I already know. It's already set up, so I know X equals six Y plus one. So I take that six plus Y plus one, and I substitute it in the other equation. All right, so let me take what I know from that equation 
And now I just substitute that whole thing in. If there was something in front of the x, say there was a 2 there, I'd have to distribute that in, but it doesn't have to right now. So 6y plus 1 minus 3y equals 6. Combine my like terms to get 3y plus 1 equals 6. Minus 1 minus 1, 3y equals 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 5 thirds. That's just simple multi-step equation stuff. All right, so I know now my y equals 5 thirds. I need to know what my x is. So now to find my x, I plug it back into the equations. So x minus 3y equals 6, and x equals 6y plus 1. So I take the 5 thirds and I plug it in whenever I see the y. So when I multiply this, I get x minus 15 thirds, but I can simplify 15 thirds down because they both have a three in common. Make it x minus five equals six. So add five to both sides, x equals 11. Now I just, I do both just to check it because even when I was doing this, I made a mistake. So x equals six times five thirds plus one, multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, get x equals 30 over three plus one, x equals 10 plus one, because they both have a three in common, so I divide them both by three, x equals 11. So that means my final point here is 11, five thirds. And that is how you solve it that way. All right, now we're gonna substitute one last one. All right. So this one's a little bit more tricky because I don't have anything that directly equals y or x. Remember the first time we had y equals and the second time we had x equals. This time we have to change something to make known what something's equal to. I just can't say add all this in for the y. So I'm gonna change this one to make it y equals whatever. All right. It doesn't matter. If I want to do the x here, I could. It doesn't matter. I just see that the coefficient in front of this y is one, so it'll make it easier for me. So I solve for the y, and I get y equals negative four x plus eight. So now I know what y equals, I can take it and plug it into the equation. Now I plug that in for what I know for the y. And let's just keep going. All right, so this is where you have something that's a coefficient already in front. When you have a coefficient in front and then you substitute something in, you have to distribute whatever that coefficient was inside the parentheses or to your uh, equation you put in. And now I just simply solve. Plus 72, so 42x equals 84. Divide both by 42, and x equals 2. All right. Make sure you distribute the negative with the x. This entire thing distributes. So negative 9 times negative 4 gives me 36. Negative 9 times 8 gives me negative 72. So x equals and y equals. I know my x equals 2. All right. So I need to know my y. So I'm going to plug it into both. Just to check myself, you don't have to plug it into both. You only have to plug it into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one, but go with the original ones. Don't use the one you switched over. Just go with the original. So I plug two in here. I get eight plus y equals eight. So 
for y equals zero. And just to check myself to make sure, I plug it in over here. There's nothing ever wrong with checking to make sure you're doing it correctly. So I get 9y equals 0, divided by negative 9, divided by negative 9, y equals 0. So I got 0 for both. So my final point is 2, 0. And I just proved that it works in both of them. All right, this has been solving systems of linear equations using substitution. I showed it three different ways. I hope this helps. Good luck.